for today's Faces of Faith, we are talking about Mormons and gays, two groups that don't normally go together. But this week, the Church of Latter-day Saints launched mormonsandgays.org, a website devoted to what it calls same-sex attraction. Its goal here is to teach compassion and acceptance of gay family members and church members. This is a big step for the church, but leaders insist sexual acts are reserved for only a married man and woman. Now, the site features Ty Mansfield. He says he was attracted to men for years, but through his connection to God, he overcame it and is now a married man. He's married to a woman. He has a baby boy, as you saw. Ty joins us now via Skype from Lubbock, Texas. Also joining us from New York is Justin Utley, who's openly gay and a former member of the Mormon Church. Good to see you both today, guys. Good morning. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Ty, I want to start with you. Um, some groups have criticized the church for its stance towards gays. We have spoken with church members who say that some Mormons disown gay family members. Do you think this website is enough to change that? Is it a step to change that? It's a step, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the website is a step toward shifting a culture. Mm -hmm. and, and the culture, there's been a lot of problematic cultural dynamics in the past. And so this is a step toward shifting the conversation uh, you know, hoping that more and more families will read what the leaders are saying and, and uh, following that encouragement to just to listen and to so love. Is it about acceptance, though, or kind of what is it really saying? What's the message that it is saying? We accept you for who you are. Um, it's saying that we love you, mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, and that wherever you are in your journey, in your life path, we want to walk this with you. And if you've left the church, like we we love you, and we want you know we want to be uh, we want to be in relationship with you. You are friends, you are family, and um, and that ultimately that we don't want that to change. Justin, what's your reaction when you first heard about the website, saw the website? Is this enough? Uh, no, no, clearly, and I was surprised and a little not surprised at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, we all know in the wake of Prop 8, 25 million dollars was raised by the Mormon Church to combat same-sex marriage in California. Um, they clearly took a black eye to that in a PR stance, and now that that has made its way to the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. um, they're trying to do some collateral damage. They put out a website, but to me, um, it's acknowledging the issue exists, mm -hmm. but it's not doing enough to repair the bullying, to repair the gay suicide rate. Mm -hmm. um, those types of things need some action behind the words, so they need to put the money where their mouth is on this one. Ty, what do you say to Justin when you hear that? Um, I mean... Ty, Ty and I know each other from our, our ex-gay therapy, actually. We attended the same one. Way back, way yeah. back when, way back when. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Ty, do you, when you hear from Justin, do you think that the therapy just worked for you, and if he goes through more therapy, it could work for him? Well, for me, it wasn't even the therapy. I mean, we attended a support group together. It wasn't necessarily a therapy, but it was... It, it was, was evergreen um, therapy. It was reparative therapy through the church. It, it was... Okay, well, what... Yeah. And, and just to be clear, as far as my own story... Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even say, I mean, I don't consider myself ex-gay, mm -hmm. uh, and I wouldn't even, and you use the term overcome in your introduction, and that's not a term that I would use. Um, so you still identify you know, as a homosexual. A, there's been a shift for me, but what's been more important for me has been the spiritual journey and, uh, you know, my relationship with God is, and, and the focus of where I was, the things that I talked about in the, the profile video mm -hmm. that's on the website, I mean, that really is my journey. It's been a spiritual journey with God to understanding myself, uh, understanding life, so, Ty, it and seems ultimately as feeling though, like I could get to a place where I could marry and have a healthy marriage. It seems as though the church, in a way, is being more open to this. Mm -hmm. You have a son. True. If he came to you and said, I'm gay, what would be your reaction? To listen, to understand his experience, how he feels about that, mm -hmm. um, what his experience has been as far as... Um, how he's felt about himself, how this has affected his uh, his feelings about himself, his feelings about us as a family, his feelings with God, his feelings, just his views. I mean, I, my, my, my first reaction would be to want to listen, to understand him or her. Uh, we have a daughter that's on the way as well. And to understand where he or she is coming from. Ultimately, Justin, that seems to be a huge step, that if his son came to him and said, I may be gay, that he would be open to listen to that instead yeah, of just yeah. being ostracized. What do you think of that? Yeah, absolutely. It is a big step as far as a personal choice is concerned. Um, I know a lot of Mormons, especially in Salt Lake City, who actually marched in the Gay Pride Parade this year in support of LGBT equality is, and even marriage is concerned. So they're kind of stepping outside 
of the church's realm of, of uh, doctrine and policy and going beyond and above that basically to what Christ taught is to love your neighbors yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so the doctrine is still contained to, you know, as a homosexual, you can sit on the sideline, participate in some things, but if you want to hold hands, flirt, date, fall in love, uh, and marry your partner, we can't have you as a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the difference. It's a, it's a personal choice for people, and I think more and more people in the church are finding that, that part outside the box where they can think outside that policy and say, no, I love my child, I love my son, I love my daughter, I love my parents, um, and I support them in all of this. Um, and I support their right to be married and have equality in the workplace and things like that. But the church's statements don't go that far. So with Ty, it's a definitely a personal choice on how he addresses that with his son. And it's a good one. I do want to uh, quote something here. The site says, quote, from a public relations perspective, it would be easier for the church to simply accept homosexual behavior. That we cannot do for God's law is not ours to change. Um, Justin, so what is the church really saying, that we're kind of open to this, but we're not changing any laws here, our true beliefs? They're saying basically, we're not calling you sexual deviants anymore. We're not saying that you're going to unravel civilization as we know it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we'll acknowledge that you're there. We acknowledge that we may have said some things in the past that may have been hurtful, but now we're acknowledging that you exist, which is great. It's a small step in the right direction. But at this rate, these steps won't, won't come cumulatively become equality until, you know, you know, another thousand years from now, which uh, I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> Seems like it is a step, though. Ty and Justin, appreciate you both coming on today. Thanks so much. For more stories on faith, much. be sure yeah. to check out our widely popular belief blog. That's CNN.com slash belief.